rafters. This is a bit of a follow-up Enderman testing. I realized that the last video I did about this was not very scientific because all I did was tell you what experiments I did and the results and expected you to take my word for it. Well, I'm gonna fix that issue right now. So, here we are at the skybox. All there is up here is a layer of hard slabs at the very top of the skybox and this is a little pool of water with some enderman spawners and let's see what happens I previously told you I tried this out before and they have no problem teleporting down to ground level from here and there you go there's the first one there's another one don't worry about that as a zombie Let's get in a little closer, spawn a few more, just to prove the point here. Come on, come on, spawn. There you go. See, the instant they touch the water, they teleport. They don't spend time scanning, nothing, just boom, straight down to ground level. So. That one I think is pretty conclusive. So as far as converting, say, a sky trap to separate Enderman using water, you can forget about it because they will just go down to ground level or off to the sides, mountain sides, whatever. You can't do it. So as for a subterranean option, and I know some people really want to avoid sky traps because they consider them unsightly. They'd rather have them hidden below ground. And I spoke about my subterranean testing. I've already got an enemy here. Let me just take him out. Here I'm dropping Enderman down to Y level 18. Uh, the surface of the water, I guess, is technically 19. The top of this glass, the big area here is 32 higher, at 50. So that's Y50. And then this ledge here is at Y48. So that's 30 blocks up and that's 32 blocks up. Um, previous tests, running them for quite a while, I've seen Enderman make it 32 blocks up, but the majority of the time they just can't find a spot in time and they will just die to the contact with water down below. Uh, this at level 30, uh, sorry, 30 levels above the water, they can find but it takes them a while because like I said it's only two spaces wide but there you go there's an enderman made it up that's 30 blocks above the water down below so when there's a limited amount of space and in this case you know too wide 30 blocks up it takes them a while to scan and find these spaces but it is possible so what can we get from that well you do not want to use this kind of setup or anything based on contact with water any uh, any closer to the surface than I'd say 32 blocks so you want to go at least 32 blocks down before you put your water streams that you're going to be dropping mobs into. I am using mob spawners just as an example but down the sides here you can do some vertical rows of pistons like this um, and just stack them on top of each other. You know it would be quite easy to dig down and dig out some channels and throw these in and then drop them down and you can put 
another row facing this row or you can stagger them out in a type of staircase and you can make the water too deep if you want to try and make sure they don't take damage three deep whatever you want just so that whatever the highest block of water is is 32 blocks below the surface now you once you've got them up teleported to you know the height you want which could be only a few blocks below the surface you know then you're gonna have to use either pistons or minecarts to get them to the surface or you can go down and go to the chamber and kill them yourself or you can have an automated kill system down there and go down and get the loot or you can use a loot elevator um, having said all of that it's still going to be a fair amount of work to set it up there's a fair amount of pistons and you might want to look at simply using separation based on the damage they take and the easiest possible way to do that is by using a sky spawner dropping them with full damage where the other mobs like skeletons, zombies, etc. will die from the full damage but the Edaman don't you want to separate them out that way or as Red Eyes has been showing in his latest YouTube episodes Let's Play uh, he's set up an entire minecart system and he picks up all of the mobs and puts through a minecart system with crushers and the endermen make it through to the very last one because they have the most health whereas the other mobs die a lot sooner because they only have 10, 11 or 12 hearts so those are your options if you want to avoid a sky trap you will probably want to use something like red eyes cart system or if you want to play around with water you can do this the major major downside to using water is they can also teleport 32 blocks horizontally so if you imagine your main square say it's 32 blocks square you're gonna to have to go out another 32 blocks away from wherever they're making contact with the water and from ground level or from 32 blocks up down to water level and even below it you're gonna to have to go through all of the cave systems and if you're unlucky enough to have a ravine that close then you're gonna to have to fill them in flood them with water or manually fill them in with blocks of dirt or whatever to the point that there's no spaces three high you can have two high tunnels and caves but anything above that three high and above these guys are going to teleport into those rooms and they're going to be lost so that's about all I've got to say about it I think I will probably abandon even trying to set this system up for my base because I've got so much stuff to, to fill in or flood that it's just not worth the effort but anyway I did my testing those are the results if it's any use to you I don't know there you go see you later